Hello, good players. I'm Michael, aka Takumiko. If you are new to my channel, my channel has produced many Go Lectures, mainly in the for Dan players, but I have also many contents that are suitable for Q players too. In this video, this is actually edited from my streaming. I decided to create more different kind of contents rather than traditional Go Lecture. So, if you like the video later, please like and share the video and also remember to subscribe the channel so that in the future I will produce more the same kind of contents. Comparing to the streaming, because my English is not that perfect, so I have edited the stream and make the presentation in this video more fluent and easy to absorb. But I would also recommend you to check out my live streaming in the future so that we could interact with each other and I could also answer your questions. So let's get into the video. And then let's get to the so-called theory problems. The theory problems is actually about goal shapes. It's not to make goal, but this is something that's very useful in real game. Let me just explain the answer for this one. The, the answer for this one is that you need to first play the Atali, and after the Atali, you are not playing the Climb, you need to play the Clam, and then Atali. Here, the reason why it is called the Fury is that if you play the Clam directly, after White play the Atali, you cannot get both moves. If you play this one, you cannot get this one. And if you play this one, you cannot get this one. As a result, in this question, you need to first play the Atali. And after the Atali, you are not playing the ban because if you play the ban, you are allowing the opponents to play this move. So you want to play the clam. After the clam, white could not play this one. White could only Atali and black play this one. And then there is some real game problem. Here, there is a defect for black. What is the best move for black to protect the defect? Luckily, actually, the puzzle already tells you what to do, <laughs> and it's to play the bamboo joint. And here, it's good to explain why the bamboo joint is the best. Because if you play the cornet, this move only has one function, connecting the stone but it did not help the whole group to escape but this move successfully connected the group because it's a bamboo joint but this move also helped the black to get more space to get into the center or get into left hand side so it's more efficient there is also one move for the black to consider which would be the Kosumi, yeah, someone mentioned the Kosumi. The Kosumi is actually not good. Although it also looks as efficient as the bamboo joint, but unluckily it's not. Because white playing the extension is a center, black need to play a connection. And after the connection, it looks like black play the bamboo joint, white play here, and you didn't play a jump, but you play a band. It's not a good move. So, bamboo joint is correct. Diagonal move or the Kosumi is not the correct one because you are allowing the opponents to play this as a center. Ah, this, this, this is good. This is the good one. Shape of the veto point. Where should black play? T14. T14 is not correct. <laughs> okay, um, the correct answer for this one is this. The Q14, yeah, someone answered it. The reason why the tiger mouth is good is the logic of getting one exchange. Firstly, if black do not play anything, white could play this one as a center. Because in the next move, white could play a push and then cut this one or cut this one either way, considering the situation. White could play a cut. As a result, after white to black need to play this diagonal move, and white fostered this exchange. While you play the tiger move, you forcing the white to make this exchange. This exchange helped to destroy all the eye shape of white, and black also have a stronger 
shape to the right hand side. In the game of Go, it's very important to figure out this kind of exchange. It's good to make exchange that is good for yourself and bad for the opponent. Exchange is a key element of the game of Go, and figure out the good exchange is the way to improve. And this is the good exchange. And then, here you suggested the attach. If the attach is working, then this is actually not a Go free problem, but a Tetsuji problem. But this is not working, Wise could push and then Wise could play the Atari and get out. After that, there is still defect for Black Shape, and this is not the optimal result. Black may consider the retreats, but too weak. The, there are too many defect outside. Okay, this is the problem about rhythm. In the game of Go, we also have a thing called a rhythm, and it's also essential. Let's figure out the correct sequence to play. Atari and then start a fight. Atari, this one. Oh, oh, Atari, which one? N14, yeah, yeah, N14, good. N14 is the rhythm. Atari and then extend is the rhythm to play. Cut at R13. Uh, if you cut at R13 now, then you have too many weak groups. You have one weak group, two weak group, three weak groups. Too many weak groups now. Uh, tally O13, white M14, and then net M13. No, 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 you can, you cannot net anything, both white could capture you. The key of this question is that if you retreat or escape this group directly, no matter you play the Atari first, and then connect, or if you play the extension first. Your opponent could play the extension, and after the extension, this group is in danger. You may play this one, but White Atari is a very good move, and White could capture this one. And yeah, the black is a very bad shape, very bad shape here. And also, it's good to mention that black one is better than Atari because you want to reserve the cut. Although I just now mentioned, if you cut directly, you're creating too many weak groups, but you may cut it in the future, so you want to reserve this cut. The, uh, the Atari is a bad exchange that help your opponents to strengthen or to help erasing the defects of your opponent. As a result, the rhythm of this question is that you Atari this one and then escape this one. In this sense, you help the both of the group escape. Maybe a bit abstract here. But the idea is that if you play this extension or Atari, you are making this group in trouble. It looks like some patterns after some free free Joseki where white cross cut instead of Atari descend. Ah, hey, I get what you mean. He's mentioning that. Yeah, he is mentioning black playing this one and, and playing this variation. He's mentioning this thing. It's similar to this one. Let's take a look to one more question and then we will move on to the next topic. Okay, let's take a look to this one. What is the solution for black to play? Oh, yes, we just take a look <laughs> to this shape in the free kill game. Yeah, Q14. <laughs> Uh, let me explain why Q14 is important. It's again about good exchange and bad exchange. The point is that if you don't play Q14, your opponents could get this good exchange. This is a good exchange that 
forcing the black to connect with a very inefficient shape. It's not only inefficient, it's actually very dangerous and serious because in the next move, white could play a knight move. And the whole group would be in danger because if black cut, white could consider cut or white could play this honey. And there is no way the black to advance. No way the black could advance. And the whole group would be captured by the white. As a result, black must play this bamboo joint. Or black could play the extension. Black playing the extension could free from death. And Q players may thought, well, why not playing the extension but playing a move without points and base. The reason is that if you escape, you are allowing the opponents to get this good exchange. After this good exchange, these are also white center. This would be white center, and this would also be white center, and white would be e very easy to escape. Uh, sorry. It's a very easy for white to escape. While if black playing this one, white could not get the good exchange. And it's now the black giving pressure to the white group. So, although getting the extension seems to be efficient, ultimately, playing the straight move is very important because the exchange. Okay, so that's the theory problem. And yeah, if you like the opening problems or the theory problems, please let me know. And then we will go to the next topic.